A table completes most rooms, whether it is a classroom, a dining room, an office, or a work desk, or my personal favorite, a creativity zone. During the pandemic, I had a gigantic IKEA-inspired mahogany table and Alex drove her made to order. As a person obsessed with cleanliness and furniture, I have made dozens of videos about my desk setup on the channel throughout the years and I'll leave links to them in the video description. My biggest problem with my desk however is that I wished I had designed it to be an inch or three lower because I feel that the most ergonomic position should be when the armrest of a chair is level with that of the desk to prevent wrist and arm strain. So for years I've found myself daydreaming what it would be like to have a desk which could adjust itself at my own will. Stance Philippines reached out to us and sent us over this dual motor standing desk for us to try out. This video is it's not sponsored in any way and we will be returning the desk after this review period. I knew early on that I needed to answer two things for you guys. Number one, can a regular consumer justify the price for this desk? And two, how reliable and practical is it to use? I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar, and this is my two week review of the Stance Executive Dual Motor Standing Desk. In its simplest form, the table is a motorized, extendable steel platform which is bolted into a single plank of laminated wood. The most delicate thing about the desk does not seem to be the motor at all, but rather the tabletop. I chose this maple wood theme, which is pleasing to the eye. However, I can already tell you that over time, you will see dings on the edges, which would remove the laminate. If you're not extremely careful with the tabletop when you place things on on top of it. You therefore must be extremely careful when placing things on top of the table, even more so than usual. Even my 100% thick mahogany desktop has not been spared scuffs over the years. The maximum height of the desk is 129 centimeters or 4.2 feet, while the lowest height it can go is 64 centimeters or 2.09 feet. The number on the control panel corresponds to centimeters and you can go as low or as high as one centimeter each time. There is definitely a motorized sound, however, it is not very loud and actually makes the experience of switching heights much more enjoyable. You also don't need to worry about placing a heavy computer setup or the weight of anyone leaning on the table. The desk can support a maximum weight of 120 kilograms or 264 pounds. This is a very important thing to take into consideration if you are interested in getting a standing desk as I noticed that cheaper desks handle less weight, which could be a deal breaker depending on what sort of setup you're looking for. You can choose to order this table fully assembled or unassembled. This particular one was delivered to my room fully assembled and with the wire conveniently ready for an outlet. If you live in Manila, I highly recommend this option instead of assembling it yourself. One thing you need to keep in mind is that you must angle your table towards an outlet in order to minimize the amount of cable slag you leave behind. One of the features which most motorized desks do not have are wheels. Not only does this table have wheels, but it has soft rubber padded ones which are wood friendly. If you have watched any of my chair videos, you know how much I recommend these rubber casters for everyone's chairs because of how it prevents damage to flooring. Wheels on this desk, however, opens up so many possibilities when it comes to its use. While a lot of people will probably use this as their workstation in which you won't be able to move it around with a computer on it, another option is to use it as a creativity study desk which can also substitute as a bar table and even a dining table. If you live in a small apartment, I see that this single table can replace several other tables because of its wheels and the fact that the height is so greatly adjustable. The frame is tastefully crafted. Jet black steel with some subtle curves at the bottom make it not only elegant but feels and looks very premium. Stance made sure that everything about this desk, especially the parts you don't usually see at the bottom, have been carefully molded into a product which looks good from all the angles. A cheaper furniture maker would undoubtedly care very little if the bottom part of the 
desk had imperfections such as rusty nails, scratches on the paint, or even uneven surfaces. This desk has none of that. Even the tabletop, which isn't as strong and as thick as the mahogany of my personal desk, although it is laminate and probably fragile, seems to be well assembled nevertheless. Finally, we get to the controls, which are located on the right side of the desk. How it works is that after plugging in the desk, you select the up and down arrow keys to adjust the height. A number corresponding to the height the desk is currently on shows up on the left side. This is smart. That way, you don't need to keep on guessing what height you like the table to be at. What makes it more convenient is that you can save three height presets. For me, the two most important ones are when I wish to sit down and when I wish to work standing up. You just need to tap the number and the table will adjust accordingly without you having to hold it down. As a bonus, there is a type A port for device charging located on the side. It is quite high and it adds and attracts quickly and efficiently. I'll get into why this is important later in the video. Let's talk stability. I noticed that the table moves when I am typing or handwriting on the desk. It is slightly more susceptible to movement the higher the desk is. This is a minor annoyance for me and after several hours of use, I have never felt dizzy when using a monitor which moves a little during rigorous typing sessions. If however you are more sensitive to this, you need to take this into consideration. I believe that this is due to the dense and light nature of the tabletop itself. I would recommend that an option for a stronger and thicker tabletop be provided for those who wish to spend on it. The subtle shaking of the monitor as I type detracts from the otherwise premium nature of the product as a whole. The following personal problems that have plagued me for years have been solved. First, it is essential that one's arms are leveled with that of the desk so that unnecessary strain is not placed on the wrists or elbows. This is a constant problem for me with my desk, which I designed myself. If I could get it one or two inches lower, it would be perfect for the height of my chair. But alas, the only option for me to get this right would be to shave off an inch quite literally off of these drawers, including my extension cabinet. The compatibility between a table and your chair is essential for optimal comfort and productivity. Each time you change one of them, whether it is a table, but keeps the chair or vice versa, there is a chance that the other is no longer as good a fit. The adjustability of the desk obviously solves this. Secondly, because of my first issue, I constantly have my Aeron chair adjusted to its maximum height, thus forcing me to buy a foot support to make sure that my legs remain straight on the ground. Without my foot support, my legs are dangling by just a little and thus cause discomfort in my hamstrings. Again, a quick push of a button and a problem that I've agonized over about are quickly forgotten and I now no longer need the foot support. One of the best parts of a reclining chair is to be able to put one's feet up and being able to do so at various angles. This has nothing to do with productivity, but just good old fashioned, it feels good because I can. Most would assume that a standing desk is meant entirely for people who intend to permanently fix a monitor or some form of computer setup on top of it. This isn't true. A standing desk can be used for so much more than just a computer station. The other uses I outline are in fact the main reasons why I would endorse this standing desk despite its price tag. The first is how easily this desk doubles as a dining table. If you live in a small apartment, a dining table and a work table are sometimes the same thing. The problem with a dining table is that you usually need to have dining chairs if you are occasionally hosting a large group of people. Bringing the table to an appropriate height now converts it into a bar style counter. Thus, friends and family can choose to dine and drink while leaning on the table for support. Of course, this may not suit everyone's preference, but for me at least, I really enjoy drinking a steaming cup of coffee or matcha green tea while looking out at the sunset or sunrise while reading a book. Part of incorporating a standing desk reminded me of the romance involved in leaning on a desk while standing. In a way, it makes me more engaged with the material I'm reading or working on. If you've ever been to a conference or a networking event, one usually enjoys a drink with a few finger foods while jumping from standing table to table. As someone who usually played host to various parties growing up from high school all the way up until college, I definitely see the appeal of using the standing desk as a way to keep the momentum of the party going. I've lost track of how quickly people got too comfortable on the couch with a beer and they just simply drift off. Note that the fact that this particular desk from stands has wheels means you can move it from room to room as needed. It does can serve as a dining table as well as a creativity desk. Another practical use is to use the desk as a creativity zone. I dislike how even in my own desk, which 
I purposely made wide, I have to first move my keyboard, mouse, stream deck, and mouse pad away from me if I want to use the desk for other things such as brainstorming or even studying a PDF on my iPad. And even with the stuff out of the way, I am easily distracted by the allure of what is on my computer monitor which stands to taunt me when I really just want to work while being disconnected. Although you can have a creativity zone with any other desk like a dining table, again, the standing desk gives you the option of sitting at the same time, well, of course, doing work while standing. One of the best things I like about the Herman Miller Aeron chair is that it gives you so much versatility when it comes to how far you lean back and how much tension is required to do so. The purpose of this is to make one feel less tired. The same thing can be said about ditching a chair altogether and do the same work while standing. Essentially, switching up how you're working definitely improves your productivity. The major drawbacks of this desk are twofold. First, it is easy to quickly clutter the desk if you do not have drawer space elsewhere. As you can see, you don't get any drawers at all here. This would mean you may need to spend on a cabinet of sort and worry about where to store that in addition to your desk. Next, you need to worry about getting things from there and bring it back to your desk all the time, which can get really irritating. Lastly, because of how narrow the depth is, your option for cable management is limited. Personally, I dislike seeing wires or even cable management tools if I see it underneath the desk. The latter, however, is a minor thing compared to the benefits the desk provides overall. Now we get to the most daunting thing of all price. At 19,990 pesos, this isn't the cheapest desk on the market. If you want to have a standing desk but can live without the motorized system and don't want to be bothered about finding an outlet, I suggest you look into Ikea's Trotten desk, which is priced at 10,890 pesos and it has a manual crank lever rather than an automated system. You get around the same measurements with a similar shape, thus you can therefore use it for everything I mentioned above, except for the fact that it does not come with these really nice wheels. The latter is so important when it comes to considering it as an additional piece of useful furniture. We are less likely to like the idea of using one piece of furniture for two purposes if it requires us to exert a lot of effort to get ready to switch from mode to mode. Thus, the wheels are super, super handy. According to Stance Philippines, the desk comes with a six-year warranty and that includes both the frame and the motor. Should anything break down within this period and such was not caused by our own abuse, then the parts will be replaced for free. You do, however, need to pick it up or ship it to their service center at your own expense. In conclusion, the Stats Executive Dual Monitor Standing Desk has surprised me. I originally wanted to try out the desk for the purpose of experiencing the novelty of it. I had no intention of actually wanting one because of the limited cable management options and drawer space provided. What really got me hooked on the desk, however, was the concept of converting it into a creativity zone where I could work on projects which require me to disconnect just writing essays and short stories and even this script. I also genuinely like the option to watch TV while sipping steaming hot matcha after a work day. No matter how good a chair I've invested in, my back always feels better when I have stood up completely and I'm away from my sofa, bed, and chair. I'll leave you with this thought. If we change our cell phones once every three years, upgrade our computers every four or five years, how often do we upgrade our desks and our chairs? Up until the pandemic, I hadn't upgraded my chair in eight years and my own childhood table since I was seven years old. It is okay to treat yourself to good furniture which makes you more productive and enjoy life differently as opposed to just binging on the latest gadgets all the time. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.